dun 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 Not a spider cow, but my fruit B06 three and a half inch folding knife on the Jenda jigs for knives. Uh, it's for a customer, so we're going to take it up to uh, 10K, Chosera, and uh, walk you through. All right, so this is the Meister U B06, three and a half inch knife, and I've sharpened this previously, uh, earlier actually, and you know, it's shiny, it's sharp, but yeah, I'm going to OCD a little bit on you. Yeah, this is good, uh, but I'm seeing some scratches in here that I'm not happy with. Uh, the sharpening is fine, but uh, the OCD in me is taking over. There's some errant scratches left over from the uh, 120. It's just deep. Now, I could have gone through and did the 300, 600, 1200 diamonds. Uh, so what I'm going to do is come back and touch this up again. I'm going to go back with a 400 Chosera this time, work my way back up to 10K, and strop with the uh, quarter micron uh, Genda nanocloth and the poly emulsion, uh, which is where this is right now. So again, it's all sharp. I mean, it's it's shave ready, um, but yeah, just need to redo it sometimes. And again, my OCD is getting the better of me. So then uh, you can see the jigs work on a pocket knife as well. So we'll mount it and get going. So mounting this, I'm gonna come in straight here because I don't wanna hit my bolster uh, and I don't wanna deal with the, the belly side. And this is the way I sharpened it earlier. So I'm gonna come in, just get a nice, uh, Good grip on it. I've got 20 degrees already here from before, so kind of just sharpened this earlier. So uh, I want to come in here, get enough grip, but not overdo it or underdo it. Okay, it's not going anywhere. And there's enough thickness on this where there's not going to be any flex, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, I've already got my angle set up at 20, but uh, I'll run it through real quick right now. Zeroing out the angle cube, so press the zero button here. Good. I'm going to start with a 400. So again, this is already sharp. So it's going to go through and clean things up. So the 600 would probably still clean things up more, but I want to get a little bit coarser, uh, just to make it more, a little bit different, because I used 600 last time. So now I'm just going to hit the 400 on there. Uh, I don't need to go back to diamonds because that's too aggressive again for this, and we're, we're just cleaning up here. So. All right, should be at about 20. Again, every stone is a different thickness, so give or take. Okay, 20 it is. All right, back at 20. Uh, we'll do the Sharpie, just because. Uh, again, I know I'm gonna hit it for sure because we were at 20 before, but it's really smooth. <laughs> Probably the smoothest I've ever put a Sharpie on. Okay, so I got a little bit of water. I got 400 on this one to get just a little more aggressive going to keep things a little bit more consistent on uh, the scratches so but I don't really want to go any lower than that so I'll start off with a little bit of scrubbing to get these you know the finish that's there undone so now we just got to bottom everything out and basically make a smooth platform a smooth plane from which to go off of um, before the finer we got the less we were able to do that so now we're just going to come in and make 400 scratches. Bird's eye view. So we're going to do some sweeping here. Okay, I'm a little shaky here. I'm adjusting. The wood is not perfectly flat, so I can adjust the, the feet. Okay, let's check. Everything's starting to look good. It's going to be harder to tell uh, at this lower grit of 400 or so uh, because it's uh, there's a lot of like white noise there's a lot of scratches so it's hard to tell until you get to the finer grit if you've gotten everything so there's a lot of noise again masking the the deeper and the lighter scratches they all look the same so i just gotta try to get them as even as you can and one trick is light pressure ultimately you want the least amount of pressure because that will create the most consistent scratch you start adding pressure, you start adding a deeper decent scratch. set of scratches here. So I'm going to do just a series of single-sided strokes. Again, 400 grit, not really going to need to do much finishing on it because we're going to move forward, but I just want to make sure everything's nice and consistent. So we're going to do single-sided strokes here, or single strokes, I'm sorry. Okay, 
to do the trick and we'll go on to the next stone. So I've just leveled out at 20 degrees. Um, so I'm at the 1K now and just gonna do the same thing. I'll start off with a little bit of scrubbing and I can monitor my scratches to see that they change direction. So right now my scratches are going at an angle like this to the side askew and they're gonna be going straight after I'm done. So right now they're like this and they're gonna go straight. We are good to, I wanna do a couple more scrubbing, especially the curved areas seem to always require a little extra effort. You're usually only hitting a small portion at one time. So even though you have an inch wide here on the stone, you may not be getting an inch wide uh, action on the knife because that curvature will be. So here in the heel, I'm definitely getting one inch of coverage. But when I'm coming around that curve, I can feel there's this wobble. And that's because the curvature is coming into contact, not the whole flat. There's no flat area there. More even now. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to sweeping here. Yeah, I'm not worried about hitting the edge. I'm going to get the edge. I'm already getting the edge, so I don't really need to check that so much as I need to make sure that my scratches are consistent. So by going straight forward and then a skew, you can monitor your progress that way in terms of perfection. Okay, that's about 30 strokes. The 1K on the sweeping. So we'll see what that did. Yeah. So they're already now getting scratches that are going back this way. And ideally, none of them are the 400, and hopefully none of them are the 120 diamonds still. <laughs> so, but this is the way to do it. If you want perfection, you gotta go kind of straight forward first and then askew, forward askew, so you can cancel out previous scratches. Because the finer you get, the more of a diminished returns there is. Because the finer it is, it, the less scratch it has, you know, it can't bottom out as easily as a coarser grit cap. And a lot of times, you know, these videos, a lot of people try to show you how fast and, and easy everything is. Uh, but, you know, a lot of times, first of all, there's the soothing aspect of this. So you, you just take longer because you can. You get into it, the zen of it all is there, and it's easy. You can walk away and come back and sit in the same position. Um, but speed, of course, you can do. If, if, if I were doing this off camera, I'd be a lot faster because I wouldn't be hitting the tripod. All right, so i do the same thing on the other side, some scrubbing here. And it's just about taking my time. This is not, I'm not trying to get it done fast. You know, I'm off the clock. Go faster, but again, this is about making it pretty and precise to show the capability as well of the jigs. So, all right, so this is actually looking really nice. So, yeah, got the nice burr. So now we're gonna jump up to 3K and do everything the same way. Okay, 20. And we continue. So I don't really need to do scrubbing here, but I'll do a few just to make sure. You know, everything's looking good. And I'm saying every time you do this, it cancels out the previous scratches to a degree. You know, after a certain point, it won't do that anymore because the diminished return. Yeah, that's more like, that's what I'm looking for. So the mirror here is much more consistent. The scratches, I'm sorry, not the mirror, the scratches are, again, in that perpend on that skewed angle. So we're definitely creating these scratches now. Scrubbing. Here we got the 20. Here I'm not going to scrub, I'm just going to go straight up with sweeping. Okay, we switch it out to the 10K. Yeah, this mirror is way nicer. It's definitely fuller. That's what I want. Now the 5K doesn't really get it to the same level that I want, but the 10K will take it over the top. So that's for sure. There's different kinds of mirror at different levels. So, switch it out. 